Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to look at pigments. It's a very big one. Uh, there's a lot to cover here. So before we get started checking this one out, make sure you subscribe to the channel and of course hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos, giveaways, and great deals just like this. All right, so we have Arturia Pigments. This is a huge really really awesome synthesizer it's also very complex so um i'm kind of going to overview some of the functions of this synthesizer and then play through some of the presets so here is my main panel so we have different oscillators here you can select between an analog oscillators wavetable sample and then harmonic so this one right now just is going to be the analog so we have an analog oscillator you can see the shapes here um, but you notice that there's more going on to the sound obviously you can kind of see this thing right here so at the bottom we have the keyboard envelopes lfo and then functions is what i want to go to right now <laughs> Now you can see there exactly where that kind of modulation, that sequenced sound is coming from. Uh, as I hold the key, you can watch there as the filter is what this is actually doing, the filter cutoff. So you can adjust these any way you see fit. So it's a lot of fun to play around with that. Um, again, it's going to be down here at the very bottom. This is a very important part of pigments, these tabs down here. So kind of the basics, you know, the synths, the oscillators all up here, the filters over here, and then down here is kind of the special stuff. So the basics are, you know, this is the velocity of your actual MIDI keyboard, the aftertouch mod wheel. So you can assign anything just by clicking this and You'll notice, say, the filter to cutoff, filter to resonance. So now that's assigned to the mod wheel. If you want to, say, do the tuning here, let's say the coarse tuning of that, I've kind of gone on the side there and highlighted that, the outer rim there and adjusted it. So now I can do all that with the mod wheel. Um, I had to adjust the range there, so it's... So already you can see how this can be a lot of fun um again we've got the functions going on there that's the filter and then in the keyboard with the mod wheel section so again i just get to that by clicking here the mw mod wheel and all i did was i went on the outside there when this panel was open and kind of dragged that coarse tuning set the range there <laughs> You can go in and turn that function off, that kind of sequence there. You can click that and say mute all. So now the mod wheel is only adjusting the coarse tuning of that single analog oscillator. It's going to turn on the second oscillator now.
So I've got that tuning assigned to my mod wheel as well, which you can see engine one course tuning and engine two course tuning. Now the range for engine two is a lot higher. I'm slowly turning these on. So as you can see, I'm having a lot of fun with this here. I'm going to go back to my functions. Function one, which still has this kind of uh, thing going on, but remember I muted it. So I'm going to unmute that. It's going to change these parameters here. Wavetable, fold position, filter cutoff and resonance. <laughs> So I'm using the mod wheel on my keyboard actually right now. You can watch it there as it's changing, changing the tuning of these two oscillators and applying that um, function there. You can also, you know, go to function two or whatever and assign those tuning from the mod wheel as an envelope um, and trigger it with the function sequence there. There's a lot of stuff again that you can do with this. All right, so you get kind of an idea. If we go up here, this is just the main synth panel that I've been on. We also have effects here and a sequencer and arpeggiator. There are a ton of modulation options for this, and it can get very overwhelming. Um, so if you're new to synthesis, check out some of the presets. If you are know more about in-depth synthesis and whatnot, uh, I know you can already see the possibilities with those little parameters that I was showing you. And again, those are always going to be down here and can be accessed by clicking these tabs at the bottom. That's how you'll be able to, you know, add those envelopes, LFOs, uh, custom triggers and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go and play through some of the presets now, which are very nicely categorized and there are a ton of them. So let's check these out.